Many of the Dutch continue to cycle even when the rain is pouring down. That is also possible because the infrastructure is perfectly suited to get rid of the water on the surface. A system of catch basins, spaced out with regular intervals, has cycle-friendly grates, placed vertically in the curb. That way people passing on bicycles do not have to watch out for the grates. There are larger versions of the grates in the larger curbs of the carriageways for motor traffic. But these larger grates are just as unintrusive, so they can also be used in so-called cycle streets. When a road is reconstructed, you can see how the system works below the surface. The drainage pipes are placed at regular intervals. In this case, the city also replaced the old stone pipes by new plastic ones. This is what an old catch basin looks like when it is taken out of the ground. A new catch basin is placed in the curbside here. And now you only need to make sure the pavement aligns correctly with the great openings. The system works with different types of paving and sometimes a gutter is created in the surface. There are even larger versions of the drains for the larger curbs at bus stops. Some grates also have horizontal openings. Sometimes the position in the street requires the grate to be completely horizontal. But these drains are also not dangerous for cyclists. Which also depends on the position in the street. This one is placed at the edge of a cycle path. This type of drains is also common between parked cars and the carriageway. Different cities have slightly different drains, but the system is very similar. It is very nice that the city of Utrecht used to date the grades. That way we can see this system has been in use since a very long time. Completely unchanged. The oldest date I found was this one from 1923. So this system is at least 90 years old. Like much of Dutch road design, tried and tested and in use for a very long time. So people can continue to cycle even in the rain.